In this video, we're going to go over WordPress menus. Uh, in clear, plain language, I'm going to describe uh, how menus work. Uh, another word for menus is the navigation bar that you see on websites that are built with WordPress. Uh, WordPress has a really easy drag and drop method for you to be able to create um, drop down menus uh, and then just you know a navigation, a normal list. Um, side to side of the different links that are on your site. So first I'm just going to identify what what WordPress calls a menu. Uh, what, what's often common times referred to as you know navigation. Um, so I'm just going to jump to the front of this site here uh, and this navigation bar that runs across your home about services blog. This is <clears throat> a uh, menu in WordPress terms. I'm going to show you how this was created and how to rearrange this uh, in the WordPress backend. It's something as you're creating your your uh, your site and you want to add different pages and you want to make them live but you want to order them, this is where you'd go to do that. Uh, in the past this would just kind of every page you create would automatically just go here and if you created 10 pages it would be too long and it would look ugly. Uh, so as WordPress has evolved they've created a whole system for organizing this and they've called it menus. So I'm going to jump in here to the back end of WordPress uh, menus is found underneath the appearance uh, column here on the left appearance header. So there's a menus option here. So I'm going to hit menus. This page here is where you want to sit, you want to play, you want to get familiar. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is you have theme locations. This is dependent on your theme. So sometimes themes have several menu locations. There's a very top header menu, there's a footer menu, there's a, a main navigation menu. Um, it will tell you right there, it says your theme supports one menu um, and then it says select which menu you'd like to use. What that means is select which menu you'd like to use for this menu that you're going to edit. So for this menu that you're going to manipulate or, or function with. So we have one here, uh, menu. I've already created one here. So you can create several different menus. The only reason you would do that is if you had several different locations. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to change the menu on your website uh, or to change the uh, navigation on your website often. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So I have one menu, general menu that I've just named menu. I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call it alternate menu and hit create menu here. So now I, you can see here I have tabs. I have an alternate menu and I have a menu. One of the menus I've already filled out and that's what is actually reflected on the home page here. So you can see home, about, and you see testimonials is kind of underneath about. If we jump back to the home page here, you see home, about, and testimonials falls underneath about for our navigation. So that's just to demonstrate that live. So back to the back end here. So why did we create that second menu? Like I said before, that's either for an alternate location um, so some themes have different locations for menus, or if you wanted to change your menu altogether, um, this is where you would switch to that alternate menu and create it. So for our demonstrations purposes, I'm going to create a menu fresh, and then I'm going to show you how to change uh, this theme. I'm going to have to change that menu. So right now there's nothing in here, and it says select menu items, pages, categories, links, uh, to build the menu. So how you build it is back here on the left side. Uh, custom links and pages. So you can create a custom link that goes anywhere. So if you wanted a, a link on your navigation that goes to apple.com, you can type in apple.com, you can label it as Apple Inc, hit add to menu, and that's going to show up there on your menu. Now then it also gives you a list of all the pages you've created. So this it correlates with the pages on your website. So if you've created an about page or a services page or this is how I do this page, uh, they're going to show up here. So you can look at the most recent, you can look at all of them or you can do a search. If you have a ton of pages, say you've created 50 pages, um, you wouldn't want to do that. You can do a search here. Um, otherwise you would check off the different pages you want on your site. So I'm going to check off the top four here and I'm going to hit add to menu. You can see they, they uh, moved over to the right and they've created a list here. This list, drag and drop. So you can drag and drop the menu how you want it. You can move them in and you can see that little highlight or that outline will move in. When you move them in underneath another item, it nests them. It puts them as a drop down underneath that menu item. So I'm just going to put blog under upcoming events. 
I'm gonna move Apple Inc, which is our link all the way to the bottom and leave testimonials and about. So that's my, my menu. Um, you can also create a link to a specific category. So say you blogged all the time on your, your uh, website and you had a category specifically for self-help and you wanted to put a link in your navigation bar. So when they click that link, it showed all the posts in that category that's when you would use this down here under categories. Now for this specific example, we don't have any categories. Um, so I'm not going to use that here, but this is that's something you can experiment with. So after I do that, really important point is to save our menu. So I'm going to click save menu. Uh, so now I have a alternate menu and I have a main menu. Now, even though I've created this alternate menu and I'm looking at it, if I go back to the home page and I just hit refresh, nothing's going to change, even though I have two menus. What you have to do in the back end there is you need to tell your site what menu you want to use for its different locations. So I'm going to explain what that means. In the back end, under theme locations on the left side of this page here, uh, we saw that this theme supports one menu and it lists it right there, primary menu. So it only has one menu. If it, has multiple, if it had multiple, it might say footer menu, primary menu, um, top menu. Uh, and then you'd be able to select from the different menus you've created and what you want to put where. Uh, for this specific uh, theme, we only have a primary menu. So if I click the drop down, I have the options to make the menu <clears throat> the primary menu or the alternate menu the primary menu. So I'm just going to hit alternate menu and hit save here so I can show you visually. Since I've hit save, I can go to the front end. If I refresh it here, you're going to see that alternate menu that I just created. That's what shows up now upcoming events, testimonials, the Apple Inc. link. Uh, so that's how to change the different menus you have. Again, you wouldn't create a ton of different menus and switch them out all the time. It's not good practice and there's no point to it. Uh, the only reason you'd have a lot of different menus is if you had a lot of different locations. Most of the time for your website, you're going to come in here and you're going to have one menu. Uh, and from time to time, you're going to change it or when you're originally setting up your site and kind of tweaking how things get laid out, uh, you'll come in here and you'll uh, change what's nested and you'll change the order. So I'm just going to change this site back to the original menu. Hit save. And now the original menu, which I can see over here on my tabs by clicking menu, I can see that this is going to be restored to the home page. So I'll go back to the home page and hit refresh. And now I've restored that original menu. So that's menus. Uh, that's the basics of it. Get in here, play around, click everything. You can't really break it. Uh, and this will get you familiar with how to create the navigation, the layout of uh, the link structure for your website.